Good morning Jack, it's Alex from GC Motors, just sending you the video of it, as promised, of our beautiful GT3 RS in Lava Orange. So as you'd expect with this mileage, in unmarked and pristine condition, I'm going to show you around the car and point out a couple of bits. So. As mentioned yesterday, these little bits, colour to sample, very nice, just tie in rather than having the uh, silver bits on there. And as I mentioned with the key, both keys in fact have been done, so they're both colour to sample too, so match very nicely. As mentioned, paint works absolutely immaculate all this nose cone original paint no need to have been touched in because it's not been anywhere so unlike a lot that you'll find no gravel rash on the lights or chips or bits of rash in the screen from high speed pursuit. Just going to open up the bonnet. In here we've got Porsche car cover and the harnesses there if you wish to fit them for the sports seats. And here you can clearly see one of the things making it. A GT3 RS, the carbon bonnet with the painted logo, all weight saving. You're probably aware, but the roof on these is made of uh, magnesium because it's lighter than carbon. So it's a 1.1 millimetre thick magnesium roof. Amazing. You can see the definition there with the vents as it runs through it for the uh, for the airflow. Everything about these stands out. It's just the touches that make them look so nice. Obviously the alloys are all unmarked as you'd expect. The ceramic brakes. Brakes like dinner plates, as you can see, not the slightest hint of rust on any of those bolts, where they start to go brown fairly quickly in the elements in this country. But then, this is what you'd expect from a car that's lived in a heated garage. See the optional clear lights on the rear. As you'd expect to see on a 911R. Sports tailpipe, obviously twin pipe at the back. And the coloured roll cage, which was an option in the interior, so matching the exterior colour. And the same with the seat belts. And then the orange stitch. Very nice. Previous owner has obviously gone to the trouble of finding a matching orange glass braking implement in case you plan on rolling the vehicle and needing to escape through a window or a windscreen or maybe just for self-defense 
just noticed that in there, so I thought I'd point it out. So, obviously the carbon bucket race seats. Now here as well, this is nice, we've got the, uh, the carbon kick plate with the illuminated GT3 RS sign, lettering, logo on there. You can see obviously the seats nowhere whatsoever. And it's got the additional Alcantara with the logo for the armrest. Very smart. Indeed. Okay, now if I get into the vehicle. You can see that it's now covered 327 and a half miles. Carbon inlays across the dash. So as you mentioned, there were a couple of options you could have for different inlays or extended inlays or you could go for the leather, extended leather, which was purely and simply the black leather across the top of there and across this bit of the dash and across here, which I've seen some with and some without. But in the bigger scheme of things, when you come to sell the car, it isn't going to make a blind bit of difference because the only thing that will matter isn't even so much the age, whether it's a 16 or 50, a 15 or 16. It's going to be down to condition and mileage and history. This car's just had its first service done at the Porsche dealer in Jersey. So as you can see here, Porsche Centre Channel Islands, Jackson CI Limited on the 1st of November 17 at 307 miles. In fact, apologies, the mileage is actually 342, so I think the trip must be 327 and a half. So just serviced 35 miles ago, so not due for another two years. Well, the very best part of 20,000 miles, I'm sure two years will come sooner. Okay, start the car up now. PCM Satnav and the Sport Chronograph. And down here, my favourite button. Sports exhaust. You can hear it taking gulps of air there just as touch on the accelerator. I'm not going to give it a big rev because uh, the oil's not warmed up. But there we go. So hopefully give you a clearer picture of the car and how nice it is. Cruise control too. Cruise control in a GT3 RS. Whatever next. Well I'll send this over to you and I look forward to speaking to you in a while. Thanks ever so much. Bye for now.